what is going on everyone this is Sangram and today in this tutorial you're gonna study sessions in PHP so sessions are pretty powerful concept uh, it is a very powerful concept in PHP it is used in every web application these days and you know what exactly it is 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 your first question if you are a beginner so Basically, it is used for, uh, you know, retaining your session. Suppose you log into a website and you enter some data. So you want that data to be, uh, you know, saved somewhere and your information to be remembered throughout your, uh, your whole browsing session. So for that purpose, we use sessions. So uh, it is uh, very useful and, um, you know, you can do lots of stuff with it. You can show username. You can you know save the values that you need so uh, we'll understand once we get on with the tutorial so let's get started firstly we will have to create a php file so let me just uh, give a name to it and i'll name it session.php and firstly i'll just type the template over here okay so now uh, in order to use uh, sessions uh, we'll have to uh, you know use dollar underscore session and uh, suppose we have a username so we'll set some value to it suppose sangram is the name uh, username and we'll have to write session underscore start okay so this is a function that we'll have to use and that's it uh, once we save this file um, you know we will be able to set the session so username uh, so our name Sangram uh, is assigned to username uh, you can enter your own name if you want to and uh, let me just go ahead and run this on my VAM server let me just uh, start my VAM server so here I'm gonna start my you now VAM server and this is the name of my file session.php so that is saved inside a folder let me just go ahead and check the folder name tutorials code so here it is and the name of my file is session.php so our session is started uh, you can give some meaningful name to your um, to your file I've given session.php and you can also uh, echo out for example this is set because uh, blank screen doesn't look good okay so this is done now we will have to create one more file suppose I name it uh, get session.php and I'll just add this PHP and over here we will have to retrieve the value as I said before we'll have to use uh, you know we'll have to set the session and then we will have to retrieve the value so for doing that we'll have to start our session and over here we'll have to get the username so uh, what we're gonna do is that we will retrieve the session username so for that we'll have to first check if it is set or not if if it's set then we'll have to just put it inside this only then it should uh, you know print out the session username so uh, what we're gonna do is if it is set so this is gonna be a function and we're gonna place this code once again inside this and then we are going to enter that uh, welcome to dashboard and we'll equate out I'm sorry for that welcome to dashboard concatenate it with the session username dollar underscore session I'm sorry once again and over here we are gonna just print out the username that's it and it will show my username over there else session not set we'll just take it out not set that's it we'll just 
try to run this file once again so that it would be clear okay so this is done and get session is our another file i'll just run it over here get session.php welcome to dashboard sangram if you change the username over here it will work like charms so suppose this is uh, sam and i'll just run this file once again it will not work it will only say sangram so if i just use session.php this is now set and now it will show welcome to dashboard sam that's it it is working it's not looking good uh, you can add some space to it uh, to look make it look better over here you can add a space like this so that your code would uh, not code but your presentation would look good so let me just refresh it that's how it's working and you can subscribe to my channel to get more such tutorials and if you like them please hit subscribe thank you